Imagine you go to a party that begins at 2.15 p.m. and ends at 4.45 p.m. So how long is the party? In this video, I'd like to go over how to calculate time intervals from a start time and an end time. We will cover the basics and then we'll have a more challenging bonus question. First, let's go over the steps for calculating time intervals. Step one is you're always going to subtract the start time from the end time. Next, you're going to subtract the hours. Then you will ask yourself, is the start minutes larger than the end minutes? If it's a no, then you subtract the seconds and the hour time remains the same. If it's a yes, you subtract one from the hours and then you add 60 minutes to the end minutes and then subtract the start minutes from the end minutes. I think once we work a couple examples, it will make sense. The first one is, the start time is 1.05 a.m. And the end time is 6.10 a.m. Step one, we're going to subtract the start time from the end time. Step two, we're going to subtract the hours. Six minus one is five. Now we're going to ask ourselves, is the start minutes larger than the end minutes? In this case, no. So we subtract the minutes. Ten minutes minus five minutes is five minutes. And now we're finished. So the time interval from 1.05 a.m. to 6.10 a.m. is 5 hours and 5 minutes. Notice that they are both in a.m. And you don't have to deal with moving from a.m. to p.m. The bonus challenging question, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, here's our next one. We have a start time of 9.15 p.m and an end time of 11.25 p.m. Okay, first we're going to subtract start from end. So we have 11.25 minus 9.15. Next, we're going to subtract the hours. 11 minus 9 is 2. We then ask ourselves, is the start time larger than the end time, the minutes? And 15 is not larger than 25, so we just subtract 25 minus 15 is 10. So the time interval is 2 hours and 10 minutes. Now let's move on to one where we're going to, the start minutes is going to be a little larger than the end minutes. What's the time interval between 7.40 and 10.05 p.m.? First thing, we're going to subtract start from end. Now we're going to subtract the hours. 10 minus 7 is 3. We then ask ourselves, is the start minutes larger than the end minutes? In this case, yes. So step one is we're going to subtract one from the hour time we had. So three minus one is two. Now we're going to add 60 uh, minutes to our end minutes. So 60 plus five is 65 minutes. And now we're going to subtract the start minutes from that. 65 minus 40 is 25. So the interval between 7.40 p.m. and 10.05 p.m. is 2 hours and 25 minutes. Okay, let's work another example. We have a start time of 2 hours and 35 minutes a.m. and end time of 3.05 a.m. Subtract start from end. Subtract the hours. 3 minus 2 is 1. Is the start minutes Larger than the end minutes? Yes. First thing, subtract 1 from the hours. Then we're going to add 60 to the uh, end minutes. So 60 plus 5 is 65. And then subtract the start minutes. And that gives you 30. And so in this case, the time interval between 305, excuse me, between 235 and 305 is 30 minutes. And now to our bonus question. If you look at this, notice that we have 3.05 a.m. as a start time. But now we have 4 hours and 4.30 for the p.m. time. So we need to move from a.m. to p.m. But we basically, you know how to do this. We just need to make one slight modification. Whenever we move from a.m. to p.m., convert to 24-hour time. And we do that by adding 12 
to the pm time. Okay, so 12 plus 4 is 16, and the minutes remain the same. Now, for the a.m., you do not do anything. Okay, so now let's just do what we have already done. Now we have an end time of 1630 and a start time of 305, and we'll follow the same steps. Step one, subtract the hours. 16 minus 3 is 3 hours. Now ask yourself, is the start time minutes larger than the end time minutes? In this case, the 5 is not larger than the 30. So now we just subtract the minutes. 30 minus 5 is 25. So the time interval between 3.05 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. is 13 hours and 25 minutes. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.